Hi, I'm David Anderson. I'm the person behind TimexSinclair.com and co-host of the Timex Sinclair online user group meetings. Today, I'm going to show you how to replace the power supply in your Timex Sinclair 2068 and slightly improve the video quality at the same time. Here's a list of the parts that we're going to remove from your 2068. We're going to replace this with the ND4012DA, a one inch square power supply module. Here's the schematic of your 2068 showing the built-in switching voltage regulator. This is the source of all the hiss in your speaker. We're also going to remove that 78L12 up near the top of the screen. Let's start by removing Q1, the power transistor. Uh, unscrew that bolt and the little screw behind it, and then take out the heatsink pad and the other little bit of cardboard. And then once you've done that, cut it close to the circuit board. I am cutting it off with little legs so I can desolder those legs. Next, remove U8, the 78L12 voltage regulator chip. And once you have removed it, try to get all of the solder out of that bottom most hole, right next to the CR1 label. We're going to stick a wire in there later. Now we're going to remove CR1, which is a rather large diode. And what I want you to do is just cut that leg on the right. You can cut it close to the circuit board. And then grab that diode with your needle nose pliers and heat up that solder and pull it out. You can see it's a little bit of a struggle. And then remove as much of that solder as you can from that hole because we're going to put a wire in that hole later. Next we're going to cut off a bunch of resistors and you can just cut these off as close to the circuit board as you want. We are not going to bother desoldering the remnants of these resistors. And we'll remove a couple capacitors too. Now we'll prepare the new power supply module. As you can see, this is really, really small. Uh, start off by cutting four short sections of wire, preferably four different colors. And 
And then just prep those wires for soldering. And I am soldering in the input and ground right here. Ground is black, input is green. It's just my color preference. There are pads on the board for ground with the output one and output two, but they all go to the same place. So you only need one ground wire. Output one is 12 volts and output two is five volts. I've wired output one with the red and two with the blue. So now we're going to attach this to the 2068. Of course, you have to strip the wires before you solder them. So we're going to solder the input wire to the bottom leg of the power switch. When you turn your computer on, this, uh, this leg gets power from the middle leg. Now we're going to attach the ground. And I'm just going to attach it to the back of the power jack. It's a nice convenient ground location. It's real close to the input of the power. There's a lot of mass here, so it takes a bit to warm this solder up. Here's the back of that module showing the outputs. And we're going to take that 12 volt output, which is output one. And we're going to stick it in the hole where the 12 volt regulator used to be. That would have been the output of the 12 volt regulator. And we're going to take the 5 volt output and stick it into that left leg of where CR1 was. And we're going to solder both of those things in place. Once you have everything connected, hook up your video and power and turn on your computer. If you don't see a video signal right away, turn it off and start tracing with your voltage ohm meter. This is a pretty simple modification and it should work for you the first time. Thank you for watching my video. You can find more about your computer at TimexSinclair.com.